In an effort to develop an even more effective, smarter mine, the military is developing a revolutionary munition system called the XM7 Spider. This is what makes the uh, Spider system so unique. It is the first network munition system. It allows the soldier, a man in the loop, to always control the, the munition field, just like he might be using his personal weapon, his M14 or his M16 or his carbine. Like all landmines, the Spider is designed to deliver fearsome explosive force in combat, but it's also engineered to be easily recovered or self-deactivating, so it doesn't pose a threat after hostilities end. Each Spider munitions control unit features six canisters arranged in a circle and aimed outward. Each is loaded with an explosive charge. Like the Claymore, each charge covers a 60-degree arc, so the Spider's kill zone is a full 360 degree spread. A trip wire extends to over 30 feet from each of the six canisters, laid to correspond with the explosive's trajectory. When an intruder comes in, he will catch that trip line, which are very, very difficult to see, uh, with his boot, and uh, that will send a signal through the transceiver to the remote control station, so the soldier gets the alert that someone is in his field and has tripped the trip line. What you're looking at now is the uh, icon of a munition control unit that's out in the field. And uh, you see it that's blinking, which says that a uh, trip line has been uh, tripped. A key element of the spider is that triggering a trip wire doesn't automatically fire an explosive. Only the operator, stationed as far away as 1,000 meters, can make that choice. He will decide whether or not it's a combatant a non-combatant, an animal, a friendly soldier, or a civilian, and then he will make a decision to ignore it or to engage it.